2D materials are making an impact on almost all areas of technology, and it is not surprising that they are now also affecting acoustic technology. Although most of us associate microphones with music, we must not forget that these devices are everywhere, most notably in telecommunications. Most microphones utilize a moving membrane to sense and record sound, mimicking the human ear. For decades, professional microphones have relied on microscopic nickel or plastic membranes, as these materials are lightweight, strong and flexible. Since the year 2003, graphene has been causing tremors due to its properties superior to other known materials. Among those properties are also extreme lightweight and mechanical strength, making graphene a natural candidate for acoustic membranes. The first author of this study, Dejan Todorovic, an acoustics expert and owner of the Belgrade-based consultancy Dirigent Acoustics, had the idea to construct a microphone made of graphene as part of his PhD project. Dejan contacted Serbia's top graphene experts, the group led by Professor Gajic at the Institute of Physics in Belgrade, to aid him in constructing the microphone. This excellent example of true interdisciplinary collaboration resulted in a microphone with a graphene membrane that performs on par with professional nickel-based microphones. The authors decided to house the microphone in a cartridge of a commercial BNK microphone in order to demonstrate the commercial feasibility of their device. Applying reverse engineering, they simply removed the original membrane and inserted the graphene in its place. The graphene was obtained from commercial multi-layer graphene grown on nickel. The nickel was etched away in a chemical etchant, after which the membrane was scooped onto a custom-built plastic holder. The holder with the membrane is set into a metal ring adapter, tightened to the original housing and attached to the end of an acoustic receiver. A small loudspeaker is placed in proximity of the microphone and the reference microphone is also introduced. A series of measurements is performed to test the microphone response. To our great excitement, the graphene microphone performed as well as the commercial microphone. We performed numerical calculations and showed that the response that we measure is in line with expectations. The membrane is only 25 nanometers thin making this one of the world's smallest microphones and opening up new opportunities in acoustic design. Although this is a proof of principle demonstration, the membrane could in theory be pulled tighter because graphene can sustain large lateral pulling forces. The calculations show that pulling a thicker membrane near its breaking threshold would push the corner frequency of the microphone up to 1 MHz, entering the ultrasonic part of the spectrum. Having such a compact ultrasonic microphone would be great for various branches of the industry. We are not there yet, but we have the proof of concept and we can work from here to improve it.